It's been six months since we filmed. A lot has happened in the past um, five months. We've... You ready to drop it in? Look at that shiny it is. You excited? What do you reckon? So you actually get a piece of Patriot history on your 45. Is that not cool or what? Hey, that is so what do you cool, reckon? Jussie, that's wicked. This is a moment like when a dream becomes a reality. And we are going to create the baddest 45 in the world. Guaranteed. Tossing up what engine conversions to do, our shape. Yeah. And it went back and forth forever. Everything like that is driveline is going into the 45 and also all the AC components because it's very hot here. <laughs> From yeah, the looks good. of it, it looks like it's been underwater. <laughs> yeah, boys. <laughs> well done. Uh, well done, mate. We've got the front and rear diffs out, so now it's time to begin attacking this whole front area. Oh, the heart of my baby is coming out. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's getting something better. I have to cut into like the chassis now. This is gonna be painful. Oh, she's in. There's a VJJ and a 45 in here, babe. Are you kidding or what? Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty much transplanting all of the nice looking parts on here, onto there. Here we go, the disc going in. The FJ49 is gonna be an FJ49 today. Diff, in car, with springs and shocks in. The first test bit that we could potentially see this thing sitting on its own weight. That's it, it's on its own. It's on its wheel. That's the finishing touch when you're all done. Yes. What do you think? That is awesome. You like it? That's sick. That's cool. Good That's job, guys. Morning, well, it's been a couple of months uh, since we've actually seen Ashton's FJ on camera. Now, the boys, the twins, know that these parts are coming. They've been waiting on them. Um, I don't think I actually said they are on school holidays right now. So they're in here for the next two weeks, uh, trying to get as much done as they can. Um, but let's go see how excited they are about these parts. Yo! The Rivery! B1, B2. Is that what you've been waiting for or not? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. Is that what you need? Yes. You want to say what's up to everyone? Hey guys, what's up? And what's been going on? But yeah, we're in a little two week holiday, so we're just trying to get as much done as we can. Well, before we get excited and run through uh, with everyone what all these parts are, and once again, massive shout out to my engineering team that are trying to fit this in in between everything else that's going on here at patriot campus um, and the situation that we're in at the moment the boys are working as hard as they can to keep this project moving i told you they get excited already so you might pick up now they're the inner guards the inner guards are obviously really really important to this build now they're at the stage they need to start laying out the wiring harness, fuse boxes, uh, power steering pumps, we've got the radiator in, intercooler, all the rest of it. We've got to start getting this together. But why am I talking about this? I don't even know. I don't, I don't even work on this car. So yeah, we've just been working on the engine, like trying to make it like look and work a little bit nicer, like just replacing the little things here and there that were rusted out. We've got the engine harness back on. That took most of the day yesterday because yeah, we didn't do as good of a job as, of labor and thing as we probably should have because we got excited. Which we've got the whole engine harness back on. We're running the interior harness, which play with our heads a little bit because there's a lot there. Just wiring 
fuse boxes and plugs that we don't know where they go because they don't exist in this c car, like airbags and things like that. So, yeah, just trying to sort it, wrap our heads around it. Um, we should get the wiring all done in the next, what, week or two or three or four or five. Yeah. It's an ongoing project. But yeah, after we get the wiring in, um, we are going to get the motor running and then it's back to tear down and making everything look nice, which should take a better part of two or three months. Uh, you, come here. What is all of this? And where does all of that go? That all somehow manages to fit in this this tiny car, so. Um, our ECU is there, we got lots of other like fuse boxes and other stuff. We got a kiln switch that was out of the That's going. Mine rig, that's definitely going, that's a pain. Yeah. And then just a bunch of plugs that go somewhere and it's just, it's a complete, just, yeah, it's, it's really difficult figuring out where all of this this goes, but it feels feels really, really good when it does actually go where it needs to, so. The actual task is this, I'll break it down. We're gonna run the whole 79 harness right through, get everything to where it needs to be, figure out what can be deleted and what they actually need. Then they're gonna start deleting it, pull the whole harness back out and take everything out of the harness that is not needed. This is a monumental job. This is going to be every bit of two weeks. Every bit of two weeks. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to leave you guys to it. Start bolting all this stuff up, get it in. I'm really keen to see how it all comes together. Yeah, so we just got a couple of holes in it and yeah, the fitment is beautiful. Just follows all the body lines perfectly all the way around. And Christian ripped off on that cruiser badge. I didn't rip it off. He ripped it off. So yeah, very cool. Cap a little. I'm just being a good person and putting your badge. You are so bad with glue. No, no, Stop. No, no, no. Just four little drops because these badges, badges will probably end up being changed anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> keep the link cruiser badges on the server. I own a Toyota, not a Nissan. So trade up to a Toyota Land Cruiser. So we got the inner guards in. They look amazing. Um, Harrison's done a very good job of it, and we've got the power and steering reservoir in. We've got the injector, what are they called? Injector computers, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, in in there, all mounted up, everything's plugged in on that side. Now we're just sorting out this side. Uh, we need to get the ECU mounted, we need to get the fuel primer mounted, a couple of fuse boxes. Lots. Just waiting for the um, for our wiring harness guy to come and give us a hand to simplify this harness because a 2012 running gear package into a 1977 car, obviously there's a lot less happen in this car, I guess, and like changing changing connectors to like to mount to certain, like, you know, wiper motors, switches, uh, lights, all that. So, yeah, got to be very cool. Day to the stage they come, papers to blaze the punk, police on the beats we run, high rise on an equal chunk, I'm above you below us all. Morning, it is July, is it July 2nd Ash? July 2nd or July 3rd? July 2nd. I had a big night last night, I'll be perfectly honest with you. It is a Saturday. It is. And what, hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. We're not gonna show everybody what's in this box. 
You can't I'm release excited. all the good stuff off the bat. No, I was excited about it. Oh, there's something in here that belongs to the family. I got family. That was built by GSL. And it's but cool. I'm handing over to my son today. And it's cool. You know how a lot of fathers, like your father will give his son his watch or his necklace. Five long years he wore this watch. Up his ass. Little man, I give the watch to you. <gasps> I'm going to give you something today that you can have as a keepsake for the rest of your life. Go fast, bits. It's been six months since we filmed. Yep. It's gone like that, eh? Yes. Well, five months. I think January was the last time that we actually filmed what's going on. Yeah, I think so. A lot has happened in the past um, five months. We've got a lot more of the little sheet metal pieces in, and it's beginning to look more and more like a I'm not talking car. about the truck. I'm talking about your life. Let's get deep here for a minute. Well, what are we talking about? Are you joking? About how I got my keys, is that what you're talking about? Or What's happened in the past six months, Ashton? That's probably a life-changing event for you. What is something to oh, yeah. do with... I went to Craig College. Ashton left school. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? Is that not a big deal to you? No, it's a big deal. It's just that it, does, it, it hasn't really kicked in yet. Over the past, the boys are in senior school, Christian and Ashton are both in senior school in grade 11. Ashton's been really heavily concentrating on getting his grades so he's, he could get his QCS. QCE. QCE, I always stuff that up. So he could get his QCE, so he still gets a high school diploma, but he's made the decision, he's leaving school. So he left school, officially left school three weeks ago, uh, ago just before we left to go to Fink. Yep. Um, yeah, we've raced Fink since you guys have seen the FJ last. Time will get him. Yep, green. Yep, you're green. It's going to move left on you. That was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed those episodes because those episodes will be out before these episodes. Oh, yes. So that's pretty gangster. So he's made the decision he wants to go, go and do an apprenticeship and you're going to do an apprenticeship as well? Um, as a automotive something I haven't decided yet, but I just want to work on cars. Yeah. So, so the actual, what he's going to get his qualification in, he doesn't have to decide straight away. So he goes to into college uh, for a week induction, then he does two weeks worth of schoolwork, which is how he gets his QCE, and then uh, you do seven week blocks at different uh, different factories. So he's yeah. going to do his first seven week block here. Then he goes back to trade college for two weeks, and then he starts looking at going into other businesses. And we've spoken to a few of the guys uh, yeah. that we know that you can go and do some work experience before he actually figures out what qualification he wants. So, buddy, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. And I think everybody watching would be really proud of him as well. Uh, if you know me, you know it's not all about schooling for me. I think school is important for kids who need school and who want to go yep. um, to university. Ashton is not that kid like me, so he's doing something really cool. I'm proud really of you. Exciting. Yes. Now let's go have a look at the fun stuff. Come on. Uh, drop, you want me to drop it down on the hoist? Um, yeah, you can. Well, we'll show him underneath first. We have that lovely VDJ engine, brand new gearbox from GSL. We got both of the front and rear drive shafts in. Um, all of the mounts are welded up for the rear leafs. Um, the tank's in, we got some extra bracing. The fuel cooler, battery mounts up there under the tub, looking sexy. Street metal guards, looking real good. Some little things here and there just to make it seem like more of a car. And also I got the steering arm um, in. So now when you turn the wheel, it turns the wheels. We got some more go fast. This is, our, this is our job for today. So this is what we're doing today. It's kind of been a little bit rough that, oh, not rough. It's been, you know, nights after school, Saturdays in here, while still trying to have a balance with his mates. Dad yelling at him to go and work on his car. Girlfriend yelling at you for working on your car and not spending time with her. It's been a lot of normal stuff. A lot of hours here and there, people helping out. A uh, yep. good buddy of ours, uh, Ben, helped us out with all the wiring. Yep. The car's fully wired now, like it's actually ready to crank, it's ready to start. Ready to and just a lot of bits and pieces that we haven't really, you know, we haven't focused on coming in and doing a specific job. We, he's just kind of been doing it in bits and pieces. Yeah, like you can't really explain everything nah. that we've done because it's just been a bunch of little things here and there. A the bunch of little things that need to be done, but a lot of things that are really important. Wiring harnesses, a hell of a job. 
yeah. the boys crushed it on that. Yeah, it looks really good. Boys, thanks a million, really appreciate it. Um, that's way out of both of our legs, but. Some of the, some of this stuff we're gonna put in today, get the coolers all mounted up. Yep. And I think um, another massive shout out, huge shout out, goes to the crew at PWR. As always, boys, thanks a million again. They did do a favor for us and push these through production, but don't tell any of their other customers because we don't want to be seen as being favorites, but we are, mm -hmm. you know, we do sponsor their trophy truck, so. I mean, we don't really sponsor their trophy truck, and Paul, you know I don't like you anyway, dude, so. <laughs> I don't know why. Can you please get your sticker off my truck because you beat me at Fink? No, that's not true. I do like you, Paul, and you are a good driver, but I think I'm a better driver. I just need to finish a race. Well, Dick, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. If you ain't first, you're last. I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get these coolers into this truck. That is the job for today. All right, so what we got here is the work. And again, guys, it's Saturday, so none of the team are in here. I'm not taking uh, the credit for what the boys have done here and the way his inventor set up without his years there, but anyway. So this is what we're working on here today. So if we go into this assembly here, you can see here, these are all the sheet metal parts that we've got down here. Now the condenser, uh, radiator, uh, an intercooler, if I turn all of that on there, you can see this is the setup here. This is everything that we're gonna be putting together today. Now we're gonna tack all of this stuff up today and we're just gonna do a dummy fit um, of all of this gear into the truck. Now one of the other things, we'll see how we go today, we'll see how we get through it. <clears throat> but you can see all the console that's been designed here for it. Um, so this is all the internal console, air conditioning. And this is all, this is all Ashton's ultimate wish list day and the boys have just uh, brought it to reality with the use of obviously technology. So there's there's a lot of work happening behind the scenes on the FJ, it's not not really a simple process, it's just, you know, kind of cutting and measuring and putting everything together because we want to make something that's that's very, very patriot, something that's out there. I hope I don't give away too much. I won't, I won't zoom out anymore, I'll show you. We'll just show them just the bits that we want. So we're gonna print off this parts list now, um, put the assembly drawings together, we'll go back down to the bench. Tuck all of this stuff up, bolt it up, get into the car, and um, yeah, I think that's really exciting stuff. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. All right, condenser's mounted. You ready to drop it in? Yeah. Sorry about your headlight there, Mike. <laughs> it's more of a candle than it is a headlight. It's definitely a candle. I don't know how we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna need that right angle drill. What we're doing is we're drilling out all these holes into the inner guards, then we're not setting all of the holes in here, so we can just chuck a bolt, do the inner guard, and then be able to, to bolt in the mounts on either side without having to use nuts and fiddle around with all that, getting your hands into tight places. So, nuts are a good thing. Nuts are a good thing. Yeah. So, you can see that's all bolted in. The bolts we got here are a little bit short, but that's all right. It's all just mock up at the moment. So we bolted from the inside of the guard there, which looks pretty cool. It's pretty sexy. We get this side bolted in. Then we'll Some bolt. Tiny bits. We'll put the grill back up, and then we can open the boxes. That's that's the exciting part, eh? Yes. Because okay, once they're open today and things start things start sliding in there, I think um, we've had a good day. Look who's just arrived, the big man. How's you and your blue mate to Oh, hey, brother. Oh. What's been your favorite part so far? Like last night, all of us sitting up there with the music going and the yeah. fire and- yeah. <laughs> Here to give us a hand. We're about to put the coolers in. You've arrived for the fun part. I have, not that I even know what a cooler is, but- um. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Arlo's job from now, Arlo's gonna hold the camera. That's yours. All right, boom, that's Turn my sort of mechanical works. All right. Dad, do you want to work like from forward to back, but I want to work from back to forward. So Only because go. you want to get your coolers out. So we're gonna go radiator, intercooler, 
then the IC condenser. Let's do it. Let's show everybody what's in here. PWR. So I'm pretty sure this is one of the coolers out of the Ferrari last year's Formula One car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think. I, I don't know. That, I, that could be a lot. <laughs> Ferrari. Well, yeah. I'll be honest with you. It's unwrapped a little bit because I had a bit of a bit of uh, we, we, we had a bit of Check that out. Look at that. Look at the quality oh, of the uh, the welding. PWR, all Australian made. They're probably. What, 15, 20 minutes from the factory? Yes. North? Yep. So they're just up the road here. Uh, family business. Oh, they're actually publicly listed business now, but started as a family business. Really good mates of ours. We've known that crew for a long time. All right. Sweet. Let's get her in. Just slot her in. So we'll get that bite right. Yeah, this is what I was saying before, man. I think we're going to have to close the grill up. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we get everything to where it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So let's bolt the grill back up. We'll bolt the grill back up quickly and then we'll like chuck this back in, mark the holes and get get that bolted in. Look at how shiny it is. It's beautiful. You excited? It, it, it looks shiny. Like, no. Anything that's shiny, look, no. that's shiny, I would say put it in. <laughs> it looks a lot shinier to me than what's in there. <laughs> Why don't you make everything that shiny? Well, that's the plan. <laughs> Come on, drop her in. I feel like you got to dirty it a bit. Oh, yeah, no. Very cool. It is very cool. So what we have to do down in there, we're going to get the inner cooler in so we can set the height of the cooler here and then we'll uh, make sure that the radiator, the top of the radiator is flush so we can actually drill the holes into the brackets at the back here and get everything all lined up. That's da, 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 da. That's what you, look at the That's small beautiful. one's face. That's hey? Beautiful. I love it. You love it, don't I you? Love it. Beautiful. Shiny things. Oh, dude. Is that badass or what? That looks awesome. <laughs> that looks cool, though. <laughs> we get a top plate on. Oh, that plate back grill out, Ash. That grill is pushing on everything, so pop that down. Well, I don't reckon that's ever been off that car. I reckon it's the first time it's ever come off. Do you think it's a shame what, what we've done to this thing? No, it's perfect. This was it's like beautiful. This was like the cleanest 45 that we could find, eh? And, and we've just gone and butchered it. But it's not like we're polishing a turd, it's like we're polishing a I don't know. what's the opposite polishing. to a turd? A really good turd. A, really good turd. <laughs> a turd that doesn't need to be polished. <laughs> Moment of truth. I'll be really upset if the bolts don't line up. They will. There you go. Oh, at least the whole of Australia is watching. <laughs> Yep, it's out. What do you mean? To... What'd you say? <laughs> Measured twice, cut twice. Like a glove. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you reckon? I love it. You love it? That's pretty badass, I get it. Um, thanks a million, PWR guys, always supporting all the big builds that we do. What do you say to the boys at PWR and Thank girls? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to everyone at PWR, like putting a bunch of time and, and effort into making dreams come true. <laughs> That's awesome. Good job, homie. Thanks, Alice. You're welcome, baby. Are you ready for this? This is a pretty cool present. Like I said earlier, some fathers give watches, some fathers give bracelets and jewellery. This is a keepsake. Um, it's going to be part of his truck that was part of my biggest ever build. And I think you might know exactly what it is. What is it? I hope. Check it. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, boy. 
Oh, that's from the Mega that's Six. That's so yeah, that's that's the original intake from the Mega Six. The boys at JSL have had it up on the had it up on the shelf. It's coming up pretty good. We just finished the intake. Lobster back to door, so it looks pretty wicked. Uh, we're going to continue that style the whole way through the build. We knew we were going to need some serious power, so we took it out to JSL, and the boys went to town. Big turbo, twin stack, four inch exhaust. What do you reckon? It needs a polish but that's amazing that's pretty cool like that's so you actually get a piece of patriot history on your 45 is that not cool or what that is so what do you cool Jussie. that's wicked yeah so that's off that's off the that's mega that. six no when, when we built the mega six what? all that lobster back work that jsl did on the mega six and now i've got a full custom intake like i've got a full custom machine uh plenum um, from JSL, if you're wondering why that's not on the Mega 6. Um, but the boys kept it for me and they had it up there. They've had it up there sitting on the shelf for a year or so. And now I get to give it to me boy. It's beautiful. That's pretty cool, though. So that will always be a part of, um, of Patriot Big Builds. So now we're going to have a bit more tinkering, tinkering around. A bit. And we'll come back to you guys next time. Uh, we get some chance to work on the 45 when he comes back from trade college. See you all. Happy Saturday.